Welcome back to the School of Calisthenics, it's Tim and Lani. And here are five pushing exercises that you can use to get started. The pushing exercise in calisthenics can be broken down to vertical and horizontal. We're going to show you a selection of these and they really form the foundations for lots more movements that we want to get into, whether it be a handstands or some more interesting play movements around um, pushing and push-up progressions. So let's get stuck into them. The frog stand is the first stop on your hand balance and journey towards handstands and other exciting calisthenics movements. So this is a technique of how to get into it. So Lana's is going to put her hands on the floor. It's important to remember she's now going to use her fingers like her toes. So the fingers are going to grip the floor to create some stability and some balance. And that's going to help her to correct and find the right balance position. Once she's done that about shoulder width apart, she's just going to bend her elbows a little bit and she's just going to try and rest her knees. Now Lani's gone up right on top of the, on the triceps here, which is a great, nice high position. And she just rocks forward until she can find a balance point and lift her feet off. So if you're struggling with this one, you might find that you don't have the confidence to go all the way over. So Lani, just bring your feet back down and show us a little bit progressively load into that position. So you've just put your, your elbows on the back of the triceps, gently rock forwards until you find that point. When you feel like you can keep squeezing the floor and you can find the balance, you're just going to take the toes off the ground and then you're going to find that you're just resting your body weight on top of your elbows and holding that frog stand. You often feel like you're going to need to go a little bit further forward, so you've got to be brave on this one. Well, that is a frog stand. Keep gripping the floor, push the floor down hard, and you're soon going to have those feet off the ground and balancing on your hands for the first time. The push-up is another staple exercise that you should include in your training. We're going to go through the technique now. So Tim's going to get into a tall plank position. He's going to squeeze those abs on, ready to take a punch, and he's going to squeeze those glutes together. We're going to think about dropping your shoulders into the joint, and then we're going to turn the elbows so they're facing backwards. Tim is now going to lower himself down so the elbows stay nice and close to the side of his body. As he pushes up, he keeps a nice straight line through his body and lowers down. Keeping that chin nice and tucked. And that is how you do the push-up. If you're finding these too challenging, what you can do is lower down slowly, then put your knees on the ground Keep your back nice and straight and push yourself back up. Lowering down nice and slow, knees on the ground, pushing back up. If that is still too challenging, you can keep your knees on the ground for the full movement. Remember, we want you to take your chest all the way down to the ground and then come back up. The push-up plus is, a, is an extension from the push-up and we just add an extra move in and it doesn't look like a lot, but it really helps us to create some stability and some better movement mechanics around the shoulder, getting the scapula to start to rotate into the positions and slide to where it needs to be to make sure the shoulder stays healthy. So Lani starts in her push-up position, the same coaching cues as before, tummy's super tight, she's cracking a wall up between the butt cheeks and these shoulders are dropped into the socket. When she goes into the push-up, she's going to lower down and go all the way down towards the ground. She holds those elbows in nice and tight to the body. When she pushes back up, she's going to come back to start and then she's going to try and imagine she slides her scapula, her shoulder blades around the rib cage. The trick here is to make sure we're staying tight in the midsection that we don't end up sticking a bump up in the air. So she drops in again, let's show it through. So we go down nice and controlled, shoulders in a great position. She pushes back up and then she finishes the movement by really driving those around. Work in serratus anterior, which is going to help to move that scapula into the position it wants to be in when we go into some more and progressive pushing uh, vertical and horizontal patterns. That's a push-up plus. When it comes to building pushing strength for the upper body, the dip is probably one of the best exercises we can include. And it's an absolute staple for moving forward with many of our calisthenics progressions. So here's the technique. So your is going to jump up onto a set of parallel bars or dipping station. She drives herself up. Now the real key thing to this is keeping this shoulder in a good position. She's going to drop down, pointing the elbows behind the body and keeping that shoulder in a good shape. And she's keeping the tummy tight, nice straight lines, looking for 90 degrees at the elbow, and she drives back out. What we don't want to see is you allowing that shoulder to rock it forward. So it just shows a dodgy rep line. We allow that shoulder to really round. So you can see how far that head of the humerus here has gone forwards. We're trying to keep it. It looks hard to get out, right? So keep it in a nice, stable shape. One more good rep. You can see it sits into good position. She's working hard with the elbows and squeeze a pound corner between the shoulder blades to keep the back of that shoulder stable. And that is how we set up for a nice, dip movement. The pike push-up is a great vertical pushing exercise for the shoulders. So Tim's going to get into a push-up position. He's then going to walk his feet forward. His hips are nice and high. His hands, arm, fingers spread apart and arms shoulder width apart. He's then 
going to come down on a diagonal, bringing his head to make a triangle between his hands. As he pushes back up, nice straight line and lowers back down. So what we don't want to see is as Tim comes down, when he pushes back up, he arches his lower back and then pushes up as if he's doing a push-up. He needs to go back up on the same line he came back down on. Keeping those hips nice and high. Also, you want to keep those elbows stacked on top of those wrists. And that is a pike push-up. So there are your five pushing exercises to get you started. Just remember, form is key. If you can't do the full range of movement, regress it and don't be ashamed to. So get started with those guys, get them in your program. Until next time, class dismissed.